Okay, so these are my favorite kind of quadratics. Uh, they are the profit income type. Now, the thing you have to remember for these kind of questions is that revenue is how much a business makes, so how much money you make. And the amount of money you make depends on the number of items you sell. And the number of items you sell, it ba it's based on how much the price is for each item. So if you have something that's super cheap, you're gonna sell a lot of them. If you price something way too high, you're not gonna sell any of them. And if you sell it at just the right price, you can maximize the number of items that you sell and thereby maximizing your revenue. So let's look at this first question here where we have a computer software program and they are sold to students for $20 each. So now to set these type of questions, I'm gonna say set up your $20, your current price, okay? So this is the current price that you have. Put a bracket, set it up so that you've got two brackets because you know you're gonna have a quadratic. Now, at that $20 price, you are gonna have 300 students buying it at $20. Now. This is where the change happens, where the decision making comes in handy. Uh, we've got a price increase. So for every price increase of $5, so each time we increase the price by $5, so I'm gonna say that's 5X, because X is the number of times that you increase the price. Then what's gonna happen is there are 30 fewer students that are going to be willing to buy it. So for instance, if we increase the price once by $5, so then we have a price of $25, then 30 less people are gonna buy it. So only 270 people are gonna buy it. So the next thing we need to do with this is we need to make this look more like a quadratic. So multiply everything through and see what you end up getting. Okay, so multiplying the two brackets through, we end up with a, I'll just jump here to where it's simplified and rearranged, minus 150 x squared plus 900 x plus 6,000. Now from this point, what we need to do is we need to figure out the x value of our vertex and that's gonna tell us how many times we can increase the price so that we have the maximum revenue. So let's have a look at that next. Got x equals minus b over 2a Ne minus 900 over 2 times 150, that gives us 3. I've got a negative 150 there. So that gives us 3. Okay, so now what this tells us is that we can increase the price 3 times by $5. So our new price is 20 plus five times three. And that is a new price of $35. So now we're selling the software for $35 a piece. Now that comes with a uh, other side of the question, which uh, tells us how many people are gonna actually buy it now? Well, so number of items sold, is going to be, well, we originally had 300, and we noted that for every increase in price, 30 less people are gonna buy. So in this case, 90 less people are gonna buy, and we're only gonna have 210 people buying our software. In order to find the maximum revenue, we multiply these two together, and we end up getting $35 times 210 people, and that's going to give us a final revenue of $7,350. 
Okay, so this next question is very similar to the one that I just did. So I want you to hit pause and I want you to try it on your own. Try to set up the quadratic and remember the way that I just did it. You're going to have two brackets. Figure out what you're starting with here and here. Keep one to be the price. So you've got your price and you've got your how many you're going to sell. All right. Okay, so now that you're back, we end up getting eight plus, and now we're increasing per dollar. So it's going to be one X. And we started with 2000. So we're going to have our 2000 there. And for every increase in dollar, you're going to minus 100 people. Okay. So here is our equation, our quadratic that represents maximum revenue. Um, we need to figure out what the x value of the vertex is from this point in order to know how many times to increase the price. So when we do that, we figure out that the x value of the vertex is 6, and that means that we are going to increase the price 6 times of $1 each. So admission is now going to cost 8 plus 1 times 6, which is 8 plus 6. And our admission is now going to cost $14. Now, how many visitors are we going to have that are actually going to pay this $14 price? Well, uh, we've got 2000 paying the $8. Now, we know that every dollar that we increase, 100 less people are going to come. So we're going to have 600 less people coming. That means that we're going to have 1,400 visitors. 1,400 people are going to pay $14 for admission. And the maximum revenue for this is going to be those two numbers multiplied together. So that's our $14 times 1,400. And that's a maximum revenue of $19,600. Okay, this question is a little different because it doesn't actually deal with money, but it is still a income profit yield type question. Uh, what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with oranges and an orchard. Now an orchard has lots of trees. In this case, this orchard has 20 trees per hectare. Hectare is a unit of area. The average yield is 300 oranges per tree. So we start off with 20 trees and they each yield 300 oranges. Now it's estimated that for each additional tree per hectare, so if we add one more tree for every hectare, what's going to happen to the yield? It's going to reduce by 10. So we're going to have 10 less oranges per tree for every tree that we add. Now this probably happens because resources are reduced, the trees have less room to grow, and trees want room to grow so that they can yield more fruit. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did before for this question, so multiply it through, get your quadratic, find your x value of your vertex, and see if you can get to the final result on your own. So hit pause and then I'll show you the answer after. So now we find here the x value of the vertex, which is going to be where we're going to find our maximum, ends up being 5. That means that we can maximize our yield of oranges if we increase 5 times. So we increase the tree five times. So we now have how many trees? So we're going to have 20 plus 1 times 5 
that gives us 25 trees. Okay, and now we can figure out how many oranges is each tree going to yield. So for oranges, that is 300 and we minus 10 for every time we add a tree and we added five trees. So we're going to have a yield of 250 oranges per tree. All right, now that tells us that our maximum yield that we're gonna end up with is going to be our 25 trees and each tree is gonna give us 250 oranges and that's gonna give us a final yield for our entire orchard of 6,250 oranges. All right, so here's the best part. Here's the part where you practice lots of questions and uh, make sure you do them, try them. If you get stuck, please make sure you ask questions, okay? Good luck, everyone.